Hey. 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 How y'all doing? Like literally, where you been? It's been a while, hasn't it? I'm not dead. You don't have to worry about that. I'm not going anywhere. It's just school. It's fine, y'all. I'll be more consistent in the summer, but for now, just be aware that Frederick may not be posting as often because he has to do finals week. Actually, a month is more accurate because this whole April is going to be hell. So a few weeks ago, I went to a thrift shop and typically I don't buy like accessories because I don't, I don't feel the need to have any. Wait a minute, hold on. I get clothes even though I don't go as often anymore, especially in New York City because something that is labeled cheap is a uh, expensive compared to other cities. A sweater is $20 in New York City, but $2 here. So that's why I don't go too often. But occasionally I do, and one day I stumbled upon a bag. And if you know me, you'll be familiar with Fajal Raven Konkin, Fall Robin Konkin, Fall Robin Kankin. It might be Swedish, it might be Norwegian. I really don't know and I don't care. This is very circa, what is it, 2017, 18, where everyone and their moms wanted this because it was trendy, hip. What other dumb words justify this price? Colorful, everyone wanted these and I wanted to stand out so I bought one mini that was two-toned and then a limited edition laptop one for college that costed that, mm, actually making me tear up, but that's also makeup. <laughs> it got pretty basic to have one of these. You know, you were defined as the girl who wants to be trendy and aesthetically pleasing. This literally became its own aesthetic. You were labeled the artist. You were labeled the art ho, I think, on Instagram. You did hashtag yellow aesthetic, hashtag thrifted. You do photography. You like collecting plants. This has its own category on YouTube, and I fall under that unapologetically. Did I lie? But it is around $80 to $100 for a full-size one. What? I got my mini one on discount on Amazon for like 40, I think. So obviously it's not something you always want to spend. It's also not the most comfortable bag. This tiny strap is supposed to hold your whole books. No, forgot to film this, but this is my current fall robin, kind of whatever. <laughs> and my other one is right here. As you can see, it's been decorated with pins. This is a trend we like to do as fall robin <laughs> people. We also like to do this because we think it's cute. I don't know why this was a trend that we did, but we did it. And we deserve to be judged for that. There's a lot of people who think that if they wear this, they're superior to you in every way. I totally disagree because I remember I paid $60 for a backpack that still is intact, lasted me all of high school and never broke my back. This breaks my back in two hours. No offense to y'all, fall but it does. The thrift store called Buffalo Exchange, which is known for being more luxury instead of like there's 80 stains on this shirt, so take it or leave it. They're usually more new and sometimes have the tags on them. And I want you to guess how much is this, ready? Guess, comment and tell me if you're right. Look at this, you can't even compete with me. Get off my level, $30 and it's called used. This is how they usually come. This is brand new, because it's always flat and sealed. I opened it up. This is how bougie we are. Oh, it is Swedish, it's the flag. But this is where you put your name and your phone number. Oh, this has the nerve. In 1978, we launched Konkin to prevent back problems among Swedish school children. Many of the early Konkins are still in use today. And as you can see, this is empty. No one has even bothered to fill it out yet. Problem with that is, what do you mean to help back problems? Does that sound fixed? I don't think so. So I'm gonna debate them on that. But I, either way, this is $30. I had to buy it. It was a disservice if I didn't. And I'm gonna paint it. Even though this is like a thing that used to be a trend two years ago. So no one probably cares. Usually people embroider the circle with like vines, leaves, flowers, and I'm like, it's not enough for a video. It's also kind of lame in my opinion. Like if I'm gonna embroider, I want, I want the whole thing embroidered. I've seen people paint this whole thing which I think destroys the canvas because then you don't even get to appreciate the color. People have done the pockets only and I've seen people just do this part only, which I personally like because it's more color blocking. And correct me if I'm wrong, guys, I think we have seen enough of the great wave to be painted, of Starry Night to be painted. They're cute paintings, but it doesn't hurt to be, you know, a little bit creative. <laughs> so personally, I'd rather not have one of those paintings that's already been copyrighted everywhere to be on this, I'd rather it stand out a little more. So I'm deciding to do koi fish, which uh, isn't really that much more different, but I've never done it before. And I personally like them. So excuse me, 
Yes, this fell off. Don't be mad at me. I'm gonna need some more space. Also, yes, I did match my makeup to this and it's amazing. To me, this is the perfect color for fall and hopefully I can now have two bags to carry around to school. I first wanna sketch this out and I also wanna make sure that I don't paint over this at all. If you have painter's tape, please use that. I'm gonna see if I can find some and then I'll start sketching. Okay, this has got to go. I'm too lazy to find painter's tape. I'm confident and stubborn enough that I will not get paint all over this, so wish me luck. First thing I think we should do though is fill up your backpack. I almost said fall robin. That just proves this does something to you. You feel above others when you have it. I do in fact feel a little cooler when I wear it, which which is a bad thing. You wanna fill up your backpack so that it's easier to paint on. So I'm grabbing anything I can find. Like literally, this was a cardboard box full of ColourPop makeup that I put on. The Lego box from how long ago? And you might think, like, how'd you fit all of that? This fills a lot of stuff, honestly. Very surprisingly, too. You don't think it will do it. So now I can sketch on this easily. And this front pocket, I also have to fill that up. Okay. Yeah. You get in there, too. And you. So that's how big this can be. <laughs> so I think what I wanna do is have one koi fish right here, one on the other side to match, and then maybe lily pads here. I'll see what I'm inspired by. <laughs> My references are just pictures of koi fish. And this really isn't supposed to be like detailed. I just want it to look okay-ish. I'm not gonna outline. We're not doing that at all. So draw one little sperm thing. Like honestly, don't have to make it precise. Let me think, let me think this through. The other one, I'm gonna draw it the opposite way so it's technically fa- Do you know what I mean? The heads are both gonna point that way, but like this one has to be this way. So it's like a yin yang, you know? Do you see the difference? The little fins right there, bigger fins right here. I mean, how hard is it to paint a fish? Okay, that's done. I mean, the water abstract, I'm just gonna go well with it. Here, I have to stand up for this. Why are there vultures outside? Get away. Go away. We recently got a chicken coop, so they might go. Don't you dare attack them. See, I wanna get, hmm, no, that's a question. Do I do the whole thing? Yeah, probably. Paint the whole thing. So, lily pad right here. Oh, this is gonna require some precision. Bubbles here. I want a lily pad right here. Wow. This is gonna be impossible to paint on. Problem is, you want it to be exact, but this moves. You know, it's fabric, so it's not gonna look Perfect, you're gonna have to deal with it. That's why you don't wanna make a big design. It's not gonna look the same. You could try to move around with the fabric. I don't know what design you can think of that'll do that, but not me. Not here to pick a fight. Okay, now fish. Mm, it's like a cow. All right, this fish is gonna be cut in half, unfortunately, because I wanted it to be like here. You can even erase on this. What can't the fall robin do? I'm kidding. You do not need to buy this unless you were like 100%. Okay, I think that is sketched out, honestly. So paint the water first and then everything else on top. I only have one color of blue that I brought home with me, so don't kill me. And I know the moment you transfer this onto here, it's gonna be much darker than what it actually is. So might as well make it brighter. We're gonna use two colors. <laughs> Hopefully this gets us through. I'm gonna use a flat painting brush. I think that'll be best to get around the edges. I'm going to start off with the edges. If you want this to be waterproof, make sure you mix textile medium with it. It basically turns into fabric paint. I don't have that today, don't kill me. But typically acrylic paint, in my experience, it's already made of plastic, so it, it will dry. It never flakes off for me. Well, maybe we should test it out. No, let's just do it. So just be very careful. Nah, I need painter's tape. This is scary. So first I want to get a base layer of blue and then I'll add shadows later. I also just want to see what this gives us. This might look like shit brown in two seconds because it's blue with mixed with orange. Should I have painted this whole thing white first? No, I won't regret my decision. I was right to do this first. Was I? Typically you start with a blank canvas, but it's too late to go back, Frederick. Don't bother. I don't know if you can see it, but appreciate my cleanliness so far. Haven't messed up at all. That's gonna be jinxed. This isn't changing color. There's no way it's this bright. Since when is it actually the same color that you put it on? I'm painting over the bubbles. Fuck them. I'll do them later. It's not drying at all. Slow down. Grab your Bible. Pray like you're trying to make your soul revival. Praise the Lord. This whole thing is it pops out, so you don't have to worry about getting it on the other side. Unless you have a shaky hand, but I've been through worse, so this is nothing. And people on Etsy do this. They charge a lot though. I mean, for good reason. I think I've seen it go up to like $300 one time, even for embroideries. And I just think y'all can do it. It just takes time. 
you know, you have to put in the effort. Most people probably don't want to, but I'm here to prove you can and you will. I'm really starting to wonder what the fuck is going on here? Why isn't it drying? It's like the paint is just moving around. You see that right there? That's not layering. It's, oh, mm, no, I see it. Once it starts drying, it turns into that shit brown color. Textile medium probably would have helped that. <gasps> Fuck me. No. Wash with soap and water. That might help. Come on, it's not too late. We can fix this. No. Okay, there is one solution. I could paint the exact color of this bag over that, but it's fine. Push through. This is why you need painter's tape, okay? Please do it. Don't be stubborn like me. See, that just looks like shit. Mm, it's gonna be like three layers, probably. I just painted over one of the koi fish's fins. It's fine. That'll just take up a little more time to fix. When did I do this before? I did this with shoes. That was on a white canvas. That's why it was so much easier. Ugh, should have done a white canvas. I'm gonna paint the lily pad and the koi fish white before I do. I might even try it on this. Okay, you know what? On the next one, I'm going to paint it all white and then see how it looks because I don't see how it would look worse. <gasps> messed up again! This top part, this is messing me up real bad because I don't know the best angle to go about this. Definitely this one, do this. Oh, was that supposed to be a lily pad? Oh shit, that was. Oop. Well, that lily pad is gone. I didn't even notice it. Let me see how the rest is doing. Okay, it's not too bad. I, I'm gonna have to wait like 10 years for this to dry though. This is going to use up a lot of your paint too. Like I, it's soaked up so much. This is a tiny canvas too. So don't be afraid to slather it on. It'll literally disappear anyways. All your work. Oh, that was supposed to be the lily pad. Damn it. You know what? No lily pad here. Too late. I'm not gonna try to fix that. Ah, oh, I'm painting over the fish. No, stop. Okay, okay. I'm, oh, I'm almost done. Oh, this looks bad when it's drying. Well, this is what I have so far. It looks really good on camera. Just wait until it dries. I'm gonna paint the sides while I'm waiting for the first part to dry. So there goes my whole design that I worked five minutes on. This feels like the right decision. <gasps> Stop messing up! Oh, this would have been very bad if that got on it. This is a nice tip. You can pull the backpack back a little bit to hold it taut. Recently just learned that word and that makes it a little bit easier. See what I'm doing? Just like doing this, pulling it back. Think of pulling your eyelid to do your eyeliner. <laughs> so a little update for you all because I know everyone's wondering where have I been. I'm on Instagram if you're curious. <laughs> Haven't had time to stream, haven't had time to do videos because finals month requires three papers from me because I'm taking 19 credits. So I'm, I'm taking five classes. So three papers, two projects. One is a fully animated project. I have to have two minutes worth of animation. You all know I'm still a beginner at that stuff. So that's gonna be nice because it's also frame by frame and all hand drawn. I think I'm writing a total of 20 pages worth of writing. So, ah, stop it. No! Um, there. Wait, if that means that hasn't dried, is this just scraping everywhere? Oh, don't you dare. Okay, I'm gonna be careful about that. So don't let your paint scrape over the table, please, because then that's just gonna ruin everything. But yeah, I, I'm done in May, like beginning of May, so everything will be fine in a few weeks. So just be patient with me. And then once that's done, oh, I've been apartment hunting too, cause my lease ends in July. So I'm trying to work on that, find an apartment. Then I'm gonna have to move everything, get organized, which is gonna take even more days. I'm gonna record the whole process, but then that's that video is not gonna be edited for a while because I know how much footage that means. So you'll get a good amount of videos during May and June. Then after that, we don't know what's gonna happen. Even the white is soaking in, God. You really need, I don't remember having this much trouble. I think it's because I didn't put textile medium. I have no idea if this is gonna crack or not. It might in like two days. And if it does, I'll let you know. And then I can just use this as decoration instead. Who knows? Completely waste the whole point of a backpack. Maybe I'll just hang this up and treat it like a painting instead of actually use it. Basically just, ah, ah, messed up twice. If you want a video of me talking about all the things I had to do this semester, like just show you all my work because it was more art this semester, I can. That pocket's done. I'm not gonna do the other pocket because that this is gonna go everywhere. I'm gonna lay it flat like this. Oh, but I could, mm, I could paint it like this. This part is still not drying. It looks the same. Also, I think I should make this obvious. Do not use watercolor paint ever in this scenario. You will cry. You'll have a fun time when you go out in the rain. Textile medium is only for acrylic paint. Are we good? Okay. I bet you're asking, 
Why didn't you paint sunflowers on this one? It would've been so nice. The color's so perfect. Some of y'all about to be real mad at me, but it must be said. I've painted like a thousand sunflowers already. I'm done. I'm done, okay? I'm not doing it again. <laughs> sunflowers are over. They're canceled. I'm kidding. They're not. I just don't want to do the same thing. I need a challenge. No! Stop it! Oh, I ruined it again. Where's the, Where is it? Where's my... Which part did I soak in water? Fix it. Oh my God. This one is my worst mistake so far. It's not even that bad, but I can see it. No, I can't do that either. No, what am I doing? So now you want to dry that fast? This is why you must hold it taut and use painter's tape. I know this can be much better. Like you just need a lot of paint. No! Where is it? Fix it. <laughs> Scrape it off. Oh, no. Maybe I can get paint. No, not paint thinner. I want to see. Maybe I can make the perfect color. I don't know. Because if it's not the perfect color, what if I just repaint the whole thing? If it's not the perfect color, it's going to stand out too. Oh. oh, this dried pretty well, actually. Not too bad. Oh, no. If this didn't dry badly, this is this good. I just mess up. This is dry. That blue is dry and it looks fine. Is this gonna layer? What if the blue doesn't layer? What if I just ruined everything? I can do this. I always have a comeback moment. There's an arc to every video. This is my downfall right now. I'm gonna go back up. Something good will happen. It's all gonna work out. Anything I blame y'all. Y'all are the reason I started doing white over other colors. Cause you're like, it makes it stand out more. It makes it easier to layer. So if this white sucks, if this method sucks, it's your fault. No, thank you. No, thank you. No, thank you. Look at this. Look at this. No, stop. That's so bad. It always happens while I talk. Shut up already. Stop talking, Frederick. Just focus. It's so bad. No. I was holding it taut too. How'd it go wrong? I just have to do this all again with blue. This was a mistake. I should not have done white. Oh, this is... <sighs> no. Okay. It's done. I'm gonna let it dry. I'm gonna go cry, I'll be back. All right, I'm back. It's been an hour. Everything looks and feels dry. I also realized that this got on my shirt. Here's a close-up of what it looks like. Obviously, this looks much more white than it actually is. I mean, if I turn it to the side, you can probably see that that's not perfect. But I don't think it needs to be. I think this is good enough. I'm trying to see, like, if I push this together, it doesn't look like it's gonna crack yet. <laughs> that's only one layer. I do want to do one more coat of the blue just because i can tell it's not perfect so i'm gonna go ahead and do that i also probably need to sketch out the fish again and then paint blue and see how that goes i'm not gonna bother with the close-ups i'm filming on my iphone for that and it's a 64 gigabyte iphone so i got like one hour of video max on it also this is the easy part it's just painting over what i've already done i also ugh, this is so much to do i have to paint over the koi fish on this front pocket with white and the lily pads too Aww. it's not even that big of a painting and i'm already tired i'm just scared that at some point if i do like three layers it'll start chipping off which doesn't happen if you do fabric paint or that it's just not gonna layer well because I mean, it's it's acrylic paint. It's not known for being able to blend once it dries. What is this doing here? <laughs> I have no purpose for you. Some other news, I got vaccinated. Thank you, thank you. If there's anti-vaxxers, I don't know what you're doing on here, but uh, please leave, get an education. I got Pfizer. So Pfizer gang, hey, Moderna gang, Fuck off. I'm kidding. I don't even know what it means to be a Pfizer person, but I I'm happy with it. I didn't choose what NYU gave me. I just sat down they're like, oh yeah, you got Pfizer by the way. But let me know what videos you want this summer because you know, probably gonna do a moving in one, maybe an apartment hunting one. And if you are moving out in July and you have an apartment somewhere in between downtown Brooklyn and Northern, <laughs> No. Nope. Lower Manhattan, let me know, hit me up. All my friends were like, Frederick, if you need help finding a roommate, why don't you just ask on Instagram? I'm like, and get a potential person who wants to pop this bussy into my chat? No, thank you. No, thank you. No, thank you. I would like someone I can trust. It's like of all problems YouTubers have, that's the one. <laughs> and you can never find a roommate. You can't go on dating apps because then they'll recognize you. And you can't sign up for giveaways on Instagram because then people will think you're shallow. Those are the only three disadvantages I found. So now I'm sketching out the koi fish again on the sides, not even using a reference because at this point it's 
it's just the sperm. There is one. You can barely see it. All right, so now I have to color all of this in blue. I feel like this is taking way too long for just a small painting. I mean, so far, so good. It looks bright. I feel like I messed up somewhere. Uh, it doesn't look sheer right now. Once it dries, it's a completely different color. So hopefully this white works. I don't see why I wouldn't. So maybe I am right to do this and maybe y'all were right. Or you could just do yourself a favor and get a white fall raw in so you don't have to deal with any of this. I just realized y'all can't see. So I'm gonna make myself suffer more for the sake of your viewing pleasure. You're welcome. All right, sorry y'all. I'm gonna have to be careful with this. Ooh, pull paint opposite way. This will make it so, I mean, no, no, let me shut up. Let me do it first. Okay, so the reason why you do that is because if you pull and then paint the opposite way going this way, you don't flick it off and then you don't get like random paint splatters everywhere. Notice how I'm avoiding the edges because I really don't want to do that. This looks pretty good. I do have to do another layer of white for the koi fish. I'd rather do that after I finish the water because I want to add some details, you know, ripples. Uh, what else is in water? Now, excuse me while I spend 10 minutes doing the outline. Ugh, I just ate two eggs and now I'm, I'm painting. It smells like eggs and paint in here. It's gross. That's done. Looks pretty good so far. It matches the front. Honestly, this kind of looks like one of their limited editions if I just put it right here. So yeah, if you don't want to pay like, what is it? 50 extra dollars, just do this. All right, on to the next side. Hey, fun news. My camera died and I didn't notice. Are you fucking dumb? Good thing is I didn't do much. I'm working on getting the rest of this outline and I've finished this side. It looks pretty good. I think it's gonna dry the same color, surprisingly. This part needs some more layering, but at this point, I feel like if I do another layer, it's just gonna start flaking off. But for now, I do wanna get all of this stuff in white so it makes my life easier. And I'm not gonna make it exact because I know it's gonna be ruined when I do the water. I just wanna get a head start. So don't worry about making it too precise. You know, I think I just wasted my time because I realized that I'm really gonna have to be precise now that I did all this white because it's just gonna go to waste. Oh, this is the lowest it goes? Oh my God, it's not good for my back. I forgot if I said this in the video, but literally a chair company reached out to me and said, Hey, we see that you've had problems with your back. Uh, do you want to feature your product on your video? No, that's not happening. It's a little patchy, but that's pretty much as good as it'll get. Ew, what is this? Ew, it's a chunk of paint. Ew, there's chunks. Ah! I'm just doing one more layer of blue and then I will give up. We gotta move on. I mean, it looks like clouds right now. I could leave it at that. But I like the color scheme so far. I think this blue against this, what are you gonna call this color? Burnt yellow matches well. I did a good thing there. So I gotta let this dry again. No, if anything, don't let it dry. Let's start doing some highlights. So I'm gonna take a little bit of white and just start to do like this. Make it blend in. Oh my God, that dries so fast. Oh, I wish there was oil paint. This dries like instantly. What the heck? Oh, this is gonna be a shit show. Oh, that looks terrible. No, 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 no. All right, here's what we're gonna do. Just do this, that, blend out. This is not blending. No, you know what I mean though. Just put like little little strokes. Oh my God. You're gonna have to go over the koi fish a little just because it helps it blend more. You don't want the koi fish to just not have an outline. Maybe we do like a dry brush technique. Start in the center, a little bit of blue and then out. I have no idea what this looks like. So this could be shit. Maybe mix blue and white. So it's not just stark. Like a light blue, there, light blue. Three different colors, mix them all together. How's that looking? Ew. <laughs> it's not blended. Right now, I mean, that looks probably better on camera. It just looks like I placed little strokes and then didn't bother trying to make it look like water, actually. I need a darker color, but I don't have dark blue. What the fuck? That was my water bottle, it's fine. This is harder when the acrylic has dried already. So if you can do this from the beginning, it'd be better. Maybe if you have acrylic paint that doesn't dry in two seconds, this will also be easier, but Jesus, I can't get it to be blended. It just looks too obvious. Ugh, it also looks like it's not being blended on the side, like in the corners. Looks like it just stops there, which it does. I'm too scared to go on the edge. This has to be the same throughout the entire thing, Frederick. All right, I'm trying a new technique. Put some down, blend it with your hand. Okay, this is a really bad brush, by the way. The Bristles are like totally ruined and the and there's barely any white so I'm just lightly brushing it throughout. Just some little highlights here and there. Come on, you can do it. 
There we go. It's looking better. It's not perfect. It needs to be a little more, a little more blended. So when I tell you, use the worst brush you ever have. Do it. it. Makes this look much better. Okay, I think that's the best O'Neill to get it. It just looks sloppy. Do a little light coverage of this. It'll make it look less annoying. It's too obvious right now. Like that. Maybe that's better. We'll see how it dries. I'm gonna do the other side. All right, same technique. Do this. Random things. Eh, 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 eh. <gasps> oh, that's so bad. No! Looks like I messed up again somewhere. Didn't realize it. Looks pretty messy right now. Take your blue. Go all the way over it. You should start this from the beginning, actually. it's it, This dries way too fast for it to look like it actually blended. <gasps> oh, no. My paintbrush touched something. I know it did. I felt it. Okay, now we gotta do it to this part. It's drying so fast. I can't fix it. How am I supposed to get blended water when it just looks like strokes? Okay, change of plans. This is more of the abstract, rough, I don't care about precision type of look. Because uh, I can't get it to be seamless. I don't think any of us expected me to be able to do water, water on this. It's fine. It's just, it's fine. It's fine. I'm gonna take a break now and mope. I repainted everything. This is dried overnight. So this is all white now, as you can see. It's pretty good. I'm I'm not mad at the abstract art anymore or like the messiness of the water. What I am concerned about though is, I don't know if you can hear this. And while this hasn't chipped, I'm not going out in this in the rain ever. I don't even know if I have the confidence to take this outside because this might just disintegrate in a week. We're now going to start on the lily pads. So I'm going to mix some blue and yellow. Let's see how this looks. Nice, pretty good color. Uh, I need some more blue in there. My goal for this is to slather on the paint and hopefully this will help me blend it out better because I want to create some shading on here, just a little bit. And I really don't want the white to show through. I don't think it will because this is a lot of paint and I'm using a very small brush for this. Okay, that might be a too much. <laughs> this might be a lot of paint. Let me take some off. I want to get some shadow, so I'm going to get a brown really quick. Better not fall while I'm doing this. Thanks to you all, you've told me that brown makes better for adding shadow instead of black because it just, it doesn't make it. Oh, no. It spilled. Ugh. Oh my God, that's so bad. Hold on, hold on. This is on the inside of the backpack, so it's not that bad, but oh. Ah, fuck it, whatever. So what I was saying, you mix some and then you get this darker green, but it's not as grayish looking. Just gonna add that to the border. Add some yellow in the center. That disappeared. Brown in the center, and then they do like lines going like, oh geez, that's a lot, ooh. They do like this, but then they do yellow lines from out here. Oh, it's getting murky. Let's restart this. It's little yellow stripes. I'm gonna see what happens if I start off with yellow this time. Like, I like how that looks right now, so I don't wanna change that. Damn it, I could have done this the first time. Oh, that was good. Wow, whoa, 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 man. Like magic. Look at that. Oh. I just painted outside the lines. These two are connected, and I made the mistake of painting the wrong one first. It's fine, I'll just let this dry. Technically, this one is on top of this. Oh, I um, I can choose actually, I don't care. It doesn't matter, just make sure you paint one on top of the other. I think I wanna add just a little more things. So like maybe a small lily pad like here, like just to give the girl something, you know? This feels a little too barren. Another thing that would've been nice is if I made the water around it darker. Can't do that now, too late. And then just add little green dots right around to be like, Baby ones. Okay, so I've added some highlights to the little pads. I just plopped a little bit of yellow and then dabbed it out just to give us more dimension. I think they're all done for now. Next up, let's do the orange fish. Why is there not lily pads here? Because I don't want to. Or do I? Do I? Mm, oh no! Maybe? Okay, fine. I, I've been pressured. <sighs> I guess it'll make it more cohesive. I'll do a lily pad here. One big one right here. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Um, oh, that's cute. Oh, it's so cute. Maybe I'll do one here. You know, what? I'm gonna keep it simple. I'm not gonna add more. This feels good enough. I don't have red with me. I only brought pink or magenta, I guess, orange and yellow with me. What I remember from class, these two should in fact make a red or at least an orange, or these two can make a red. I'll figure it out. I can do this. It's red-ish. I think my combo is orange and magenta to get red. I don't think that's exactly how it works, but it works for me. So this is the orange fish. I'm gonna start off with the fins because then I'm gonna cover it up later. That seems good. Just went from red and orange to yellow, basically. And you don't want to look fully blended. These are fins. 
ends. So it's supposed to look a little bit scratchy. You want to try to get detail in there without having to take your smallest brush. I don't have the time for that. So with the yellow, I'm barely tapping in and then just flicking like this. Oh, look at that. There we go. Okay, now we cover this all up with some orange. Is it just me or do I like the fact that it's like there's white that's peeking out? I kind of like it. Like this part, I don't think I want to cover that up. Maybe like something like this. Oh, this is need some dry brushing. Like, why do I not mind this? Oh my God. Here, I'm going to add a little more strokes. Oh, baby. There we go. Look at that action. Mm, I actually like this. Ah, I might add white back. I want to see how that looks. So, so far, I'm not minding how this is blending. And then add some highlights with yellow because this is the top of the fish. So its head is going to be the lightest part. I like the splotchiness. I don't like the scratchiness of it. So let me see how I can fix this. Make it look a little bit more intentional and really don't try to make it perfect. You want to go in different directions. I'm going to add some white back to the fins. Oh my God so good some person who like collects koi probably is judging me right now like this is so inaccurate it's good for me okay for my skill maybe add some white to the fin it's like a little cow okay while well, let that dry i'm gonna move on to this one so this one i just want to be little splotches of orange and a way you can be strategic in where you place it you can do it right at the edge so that it looks like you have a fin just because we're not really working with shadows we're just working with color so like i have a line here that shows that that's a fin i have a line here that shows there's a fin this line makes it a fin it's just a little strategic placement that's it you don't have to add much this one i'll make it all orange this one's just gonna look like a goldfish basically all right i'm gonna have to let all of this dry for a while because i can't work with it but that is what it looks like so far here's my goldfish here's my koi fish here's my other koi fish gonna let it all dry and then we'll be done with the last one all right we're in our final stretch an update i don't know when this happened but this happened and i'm very scared that there's somehow blue all over this backpack and i'm just blind but so far, nothing much. The biggest thing that's happened was this, and everything else is very minuscule. This happened to... I think I'm gonna give this some white spots because I feel like it's deserving of it. So, one right there. Right, like that. And then we add on our gold. Add some yellow in the center. And don't worry about blending it out too much. Oh, I like that, I like that. Here, let's add just tiny strokes instead. Like, I need even less. Ooh. Oh, I'm not gonna change that. As for this, I don't like how it basically turned up all orange. So I'm gonna add some yellow highlights. One here. I'm really not trying to care about blending. I'm just trying to make it look like it has some highlights to it. So like that, there. And now all we have to do is let it dry. I think I do wanna spray it down, but I'm gonna have to get tape for this first and then spray. So we'll see. To go back in here and um, add more white because this is not pigmented. But if I do that, this will be slammed right on that table. I was almost done. I was ready to take thumbnail pictures and totally forgot there are no lily pads on here. And I bet all of you all were shouting at me so you can delete that comment. I'm doing it right now. Wait, when did the- wait, 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 whoa, whoa, whoa. When did this get here? I just washed my hands. Get it off. <laughs> off of me. You can also take the back of your brush and just do little dots to get those lily pads if you want. I think we're done here. And this is the end of the video. So, now we can compare our first one to our second one. <laughs> Which one am I gonna be using? Neither, because they're so uncomfortable. Maybe it's just a me thing, but like, I really don't like how they feel on my back. I'm used to padding. This is, do you see? For picnics, cute. Instagram pictures, cute. College, no one fucking cares about the backpack you choose, okay? It's not gonna make you more popular. I know it matters more in high school, but like, listen, no one in college cares about what backpack you use. You can bring a purse for all we care. Just get their school. This only gives temporary happiness and permanent damage to your back. So choose wisely or just get a Swiss gear because they're much better. Here's the final product. Honestly, pretty happy with the color. I like how it contrasts this burnt, I don't know what color is this, burnt yellow, orangey, autumn. I try to do my eye makeup to match and also I'm very sweaty, so stop judging me. It's not flaking off yet, but I honestly don't picture myself using this too much because I'm so scared of ruining it. So it's probably just gonna be for pictures and, you know, casual days out, but nothing extreme. Let me know which one you prefer, their limited edition or my 
limited edition that I made. I think the pattern ones are 30 to $40 more per, I'll correct myself. Either way, they're very expensive, so there's no need for you to buy them. But if you do, I would say, get one of these and color it yourself because you get the freedom. And that's all I have, so like, subscribe, comment. I post whenever I have time because I'm currently going through finals. Summer will be much easier. Second channel, even though I don't post on their podcast channel, even though we sometimes don't post on there either. Social medias, I post on Instagram. That's something. I rant on Twitter. I occasionally stream, but don't have time right now, but will in the future. Fan art of the week goes to you because this is, oh, oh. This is really good. And I also have forgot to do fan art of the week for months now, so. Thank you for reminding me that this exists. Now you can do fan art of this so that we don't get 50,000 maid costume outfit, right? Right? And as always, I love you all and everything is less than three. And see you next, next, <laughs> next cut.